Hi everyone, uh, first time to with you. Uh, our subject today uh, is about uh, flash uh, cyclone separation tank for uh, evaporation processes. Uh, first of all, after uh, uh, you download your model, copy it in, in your main working folder, and then open MATLAB first. Open MATLAB and go to your destination folder from here. Uh, the place that uh, you uh, um, you have copied your um, uh, model folder okay so uh, this is my working folder so I, I I have to go to my destination for this is my main folder okay so and click here and sort by name and and group by type so we will find this this is your working folder and this is your model uh, flash cyclone dot slx so double clicking and we have uh, uh, our main model okay uh, flash cyclone is is used for uh, evaporation processes uh, under um, lower pressure uh, uh, it's it's simple uh, technique for uh, uh, steam generation usually used in uh, in uh, 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 ge geothermal plant uh, steam power plants uh, uh, and it is quite very uh, interesting uh, uh, technique for steam generation uh, all you have to do is to uh, double key, set your solution time into zero okay and let's emphasize a little bit here. Uh, okay okay um, this model actually uh, uh, using neural network in order to uh, simulate uh, 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 a huge amount of uh, points based on uh, manufacturer uh, database so you have to double clicking here okay this is our main model uh, we can assign the following uh, this is this is our main inputs. What is your high pressure? Okay, because uh, water used to be in liquid phase in order to evaporate So we have high pressure and lower pressure Okay, okay, so this is our high pressure and this is the lower pressure that we intended to uh, extract our steam Okay, so and uh, we can assign steam flow rate. What is our steam flow rate that or mass flow rate that we are going to deal or to generate? Okay, just the three parameters, and we need to uh, assign our uh, some parameters for costs analysis. What is our operating hours, uh, plant lifetime? or system lifetime and interest rate. Okay, suppose I have a pressure. Uh, uh, in bars, of course, uh, 11 bars or 12 bars, just an example, and the low pressure should be uh, uh, 0.4, for example, 0.5, I'm sorry, 0.5, okay, and steam mass fluid should be, uh, 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 for example, 2 kilogram per second, okay, and hit apply, and let's go inside from here, saving, Okay, if we click on here, okay, just clicking on, we will see one point iteration, okay, one point uh, result. Okay, it's just one point, so uh, four, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, four, uh, 12 bars, 0.5 uh, 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 flashing bars. So we have, this is our dryness fraction. This is our dryness fraction. And we have here a uh, flash tank height, which should be 2 meter 0.7, a flash, flash tank diameter, because this is a design model. We, we, we are going to extract our design. Uh, what is our drain uh, diameter? Vent uh, in meter, a flash tank uh, water. So if we have here uh, 2 kilogram per second as a steam, so we need to we will generate uh, around uh, 10 uh, kilogram per second as a, a water co uh, uh, content and this is our total flow rate total flow rate is steam flow rate uh, plus uh, water uh, flow rate okay let's go and okay, continue serving 
Okay. For uh, flash tank, we, this is our flash tank uh, uh, volume. Uh, I'm sorry, it is uh, meter cube, not meter cube, but kilogram. Okay. And uh, this is our direct cost, uh, annual cost, and uh, flash tank hourly costs. Okay. We can discover uh, in Salbi what is your in Salbi at uh, uh, the flashing point. Okay. And this is. Uh, 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 vapor in salpy uh, as a flashing uh, pressure vapor in, in salpy and this is our liquid in salpy as the flashing okay okay and this is our uh, uh, this is high in, uh, in salpy rate okay and this is co uh, condenser temperature this is condensation temperature or uh, flashing temperature that we should deal with okay suppose i i would like to run in dynamic mode let's set our simulation time into infinity or a specific time if you would like you can uh, change your parameters based on outside or connect this unit you can connect this unit uh, to any other unit if you would like okay but just i i would like to show you how uh, the system running dynamically so we can uh, set our simulation time into infinity and going here clicking on our panel and let's go inside okay and saving so I, I would like to uh, uh, click run and make my changes and realize the changes uh, on the graph uh, let's hit run and see uh, so now I would like to change the pressure, high pressure, increasing the pressure. Just to click and move your courses uh, left to right. I am increasing uh, the pressure, the high pressure. Okay, drainage fraction is increasing. Suppose I would like to increase the lower pressure. Okay, lower pressure again. Okay. I'm increasing so there is a changes in enthalpy and uh, volume and, and so on what about steam flow rate suppose I would like to increase the steam flow rate a little bit what is the effect I think the effect uh, uh, will occur on uh, on the volume okay and let's uh, decreasing uh, the pressure again lower pressure let's decreasing in order to increase the, the dryness fraction again okay hit the stop and see your results okay as you realize there is a changes in this is your dryness fraction as we increase the pressure as we increase the pressure here you can realize this as we increase the pressures uh, so you realize the dryness fraction has increased and then i d i increased the lower pressure or condensation process so uh, the dryness fraction has decreased again and this is the mass, uh, the mass flow rate effect, as you can see, mass flow rate effect on uh, height of the flashing tank, uh, diameter, vent, uh, volume, total volume, and so on. And this is in Salby variation, as you realize, in Salby variation. You can extract your result from here also, you can go here. And let's uh, emphasize a little bit, you can discover your results from here. Let's, for example, uh, this is in salby uh, of fluid and salby of the vapor. Okay. Of course, difference. Uh, let's, okay, this is uh, uh, vapor in salby, okay. A flash tank uh, uh, volume, meter cube, okay. Uh, temperature increasing because of the effect of in salby and the pressure mass flow rate we uh, deal with total mass flow rate this is your total mass flow rate and we have here uh, steam mass flow rate okay this is total and this is your steam and this is uh, water at the bottom of the tank water content on the, uh, at the bottom of the tank okay uh, um, the difference uh, could be increased or decreased based on your uh, uh, dryness fraction. If you increase your dryness fraction, so the steam flow rate would increase. Okay, let's go for HFG latent heat. This is your latent heat. You can put latent heat here with HG latent heat of vaporization. Okay, and uh, flash tank height, diameter, 
drain, vent. So you can design your uh, flushing tank, you can design it, you can uh, 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 specify what is your uh, uh, best or optimized design uh, based on uh, changing your operating conditions and choosing or selecting what is a benefit or not for your design. Uh, finally, I would like to. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Finally, I would like to thank you very much for your interest in our model. Don't forget to uh, like, share, and uh, subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.